Well, he has like curly hair and he has a ponytail, like a little curly, you know, little curls. He has a ponytail, and he also had um, and he also had gold teeth, right? And then um, see, he wears those knickers. And nowadays, um, they put the gold, his gold teeth, in the museum, and somebody stole them. So they're trying to find out about them. And they also have his hair and the. Oh yeah, and his his family before that, when he died, they took out his teeth. I don't know what they did with them, but and they also have his hair in the museum. Uh, Why would they have to do a thing like that? Yeah, he was a famous man, and I I don't remember if he was in some kind of war or something, but he's on a one dollar bill. I think he was the first president. And um, and he got gray hair, kind kind of like curly hair on the bottom and gray hair. But he died a long time ago. I don't know if we were born or not. When if you're sad or you're mad at something or if you wanted to ride on a horse on a weekend and it was raining and your teacher got sick the day after. Um, your mother would come along and she'd hug you and she she'd comfort you. So you know, like she you wouldn't be sad. You'd try to get better. When you, like in the mornings when you go up to your mother you're in her bed and you hug her, you keep her warm, and she keeps you warm as well. You can do the same thing with your father. You're going on a honeymoon and you're and you're sitting by the fire and you're holding each other squeezing or when you're going to bed and um, you have your teddy bear and you're squeezing it and hugging it. Like suppose you were um this man, a man walks around up and down the street with a cup asking to give you some money for the poor people in the world, like some homeless kids or two orphans who need money and don't have a home. It's like, like, like uh, people for the handicapped and stuff like that. You, did you ever see the Jerry Lewis telethon like that? And they say, you know, like, give to the people, you know, and people, and they buy the machines and wheelchairs, you know, for the people who's crippled. It means you give, you give money to a church, and this is giving the money for help, helping the sick or the needy. So this word can explain it. It's, it means... You give money, or you give clothes, or you give help to someone or something, and you use this word to explain the meaning of what you've done. He was um, a shepherd, and um, he took care of sheep. And then there was this burning bush, real burning, but not burning, just like smoke coming out of fire. And then God talked to him and said, um, you have to go help the others way over there in Egypt or someplace. And he said, I can't do it because I'm stuttering. I ha I can't talk. I stutter. I stutter. Like, um, he goes, D -d -d I st -d 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 stutter, like that. And um, he always stutters. But and then God said, Well, go to this man. His name is Joshua, 
and he'll help you fight the battle. Is a Hebrew Hebrew word for um, drawn out of the water, and there's also a man called him, and um, he um, he brought the Israelites out of slavery, bondage from um, Egypt, from the Pharaoh, and um, he made sure that um, God told him to um, free the Israelites. And he always had this rod that once he um, um, turned it into a snake, and when he touched the rod to the stream, then it turned into blood. And um, God also gave him the power to um, try to persuade the Pharaoh to release the Israelites. He was one of God's um, worshippers, but he was a different kind. He was the man who gave the Ten Commandments. Sometimes robbers make it so they can have a lot of money, and then they like, like they pretend that they're a blind man or something. They say they'll give you a do a dollar if you walk them across the street, and so they give you it, and it spreads all all around places, and then the and then sometimes they give it to a lot of other people, so they don't so they don't get in trouble for making it. The other people do because they're the ones who have it. It's like when you have some money and somebody's going around like, like one has an Abraham Lincoln, uh, Lincoln on. It's supposed to, you know, everything's the same except he has a little twinkle in his eye, which isn't supposed to go be there. And, and sometimes, like, they might have something like instead of using a dime in the machine they have a, sl a little washer that they stick in to get the mon the stuff out it means like sometimes people will have like money and they'll trade they'll give the 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 fake money to the people and then they'll get the real money and then the people find out it's fake and then they'll have to go like finding the robbers or whatever, and then they'll be put in jail because that's illegal to make fake money. Uh, you blush, you start getting red, um, you start um, getting a bit, uh, you feel funny inside. Like if you, uh, if you were the fastest runner in the class and you couldn't beat and you couldn't run faster than a kindergarten kindergarten child, you would feel that way. Okay, let's say that you let's say at home you did something very, very bad. And then one day your you were at her your friend's house and your mother told, and you were in the room with your mother, and your mother told your friend's mother, like, what you did at home. So that would probably the um, the word you like. It is when you, uh, when you turn red in the face because you said something wrong, or you did something wrong and everybody's teasing you, like if you, like if you're trying to put a book on a high shelf and you put it on, but then a, a whole lot of other books came down and everybody start, started teasing you, you might get red in the face and you would become it. It's like somebody like the devil. 
He's real mean. He puts curses on people. He puts them in boiling hot water and melts them. Or he sticks them in the in the t in the rear end with this stick with three horns on it, like his head. It's a bad thing. Like some people said, say the devil's it, and it's like some people are go like witches. They say are like go <laughs> and stuff like that, like dungeons and warlocks and dragons are that. <coughs> some people might say. And sometimes people say that that's like devil worshippers or something. They're that. It's another word, you know, that um, they use in the Bible to describe um, something that's very bad, worse than bad, worse than worse, worse than worst. Well, if a person says hi and the little girl or boy doesn't answer and they just go like that and they look very scared of the stranger who's talking to them and the mommy might get mad and just say, honey, it's all right. She's just a person, and then the little girl would understand. Um, sometimes there's this boy, right? And and then he sees a girl walking by, and then he starts to love her, and then he's um uh, like like too embarrassed or this this word. He's. He, he um doesn't want to say he loves her, and then he's like, he, and then he's embarrassed. I love a girl that I that I know. I said I love her about a year ago. I still do. Believe it. I love her too. It it is. It's when a person when they when the teacher says stand up and say your name. And then the person says, and then they stand up and they say, uh, my, my name is, is, and then, then they're so, if they don't want to say it, they're, they're so scared that people might, ah, uh, be quiet, we don't want to hear that. Well, it likes gold, it likes jewelry, it likes money likes furniture, likes antique rugs sometimes, likes antiques. Like they're very rich and they like go in special cars and things like that. And lots of people, they wanted to kill them or rob them or something. He would have a fancy outfit. He would have lots of money. People would probably make a little way for him. Probably have a limousine with him. Roll out a carpet or something. Well, it's the guy that uh, he's almost like um, like the president, but he he wears all white. He wears like something called a yarmulke on his head, and that's white. And he wears a suit that's white. And I don't know what state he is he he's at. I think he's in he he lives in Washington. I think. Well, like, I think there were three of them because one died and then the other one died too and then there's one left.
and then he's um, very nice and like that. Um, he also, he when he visited Britain, you know, he bowed down, kissed the floor, and he started walking. And he met the, he met all the people, and you know, and that's all. That's all I can know about him. The is the head of the, is the head of the um, Catholic government, the head of the all the Catholic countries. I mean, not not the head of the government, but the head of the religion. It, it's hairdresser, and, and my dad's a hairdresser, and he works in Beverly Hills, and they do your hair any way you like it. They brush it, they comb it, they wash it, they get all the lice out, they do everything that they can to help your hair. And they even do my hair free, because it's my dad. It's like a place where you get manicures and like your hair permed and oh, you get your hair permed and things like that. Moms do it, and they make you sit in the waiting room with that awful smell. Sometimes rich people go there and have their hair done. Like, they have curlers there, they have lots of mirrors, they have a big chair, and um, they have, um, sometimes they have um, hair coloring stuff. A little hint that somebody would give you, like if you're hunting for something, or if you're trying to figure out an answer, or... Say, uh, say you're, you, you just can't find your brother and you're playing hide and go seek, and maybe your mom knows, then you ask her, she'll give you a This is something like somebody gets kidnapped and the robbers um, have a map of where they ha are holding the child kidnapped and like you find it and it says something and that is this thing of how to find where the child is kidnapped. It's when detectives, when they're looking for something, they have to find them so they can solve the mystery or something. So, um, and sometimes um, their footprints or handprints or fingerprints. Yeah, sometimes me and my brother had um a, had played with blocks, and we say, "Oh, this is our work of art." And my brother said, "It's very fantastic because we like it." And we put these like um it's little blocks with circles on it, and we put it together with little blocks around it. And we like to do that because we think it's famous, and we say, "Oh, our work of art." It's like something that it's real it's like real good like Picasso had real good paintings and they were that and some people say <clears throat> and just big stuff so it's like somebody it's like somebody made one and it might be a big, huge, complicated statue. Or maybe a little eensy beensy teensy thing that somebody wove real tightly together and made a face or something. It can be like a sculpture that's very, very special. And there's only one of them. And, um... 
it's like perfect. Well, it's like two people say like my mom and my dad like my mom wants some pork chop for dinner, my dad wants some hamburger. And say they like they start fighting about it because they don't they really want that thing. Like when my mom and me were in the car the other day, I accidentally slammed her book in the door. And and she said, why'd you do that? And I said, I didn't know the book was there. And so I just got in a big fight, and, and but we got over it. And we kept talking back to each other, and we wouldn't talk to each other for quite a few days. It means when you get really mad at somebody and you start you start yelling at them and saying bad words to them and you get real mad at them and they get real mad at you and it's like it's a fight but you don't use your hands. It's like when say a person's walking and another person's walking with him, he leaves him alone like you know we just leave him say they're walking in the desert right? And the, and the person who's the boss, he finds um, a thing, and he finds something like a treasure, right? And so the other guy has something he needs, like a rope, right? And say there's like a, a whole cave of things, like, you know, rocks. And they're coming down, and like, you know, he says like, says, um, like, if you give me the treasure, I'll give you the rope. And he gives a rope, but instead he doesn't, and he just gets out of there, and he leaves him alone. <laughs> Like if you had a child, and then you didn't want him anymore, and you just put him on the steps or something. And you say, I don't want you anymore. Like if you had this dog, and you just took the dog, put it in a car, and went way out in the desert, and you just put the dog out in the desert and drove away and just left it there. Um, or if a couple were married and then one morning a lady wakes up and she finds this note saying, um, I, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm never going to see you again. It's something like whenever they go go to fight, they they wear these certain things so they won't hurt their hands. Sometimes one person wins and sometimes one person lose. It's something over your house or a building. And it helps cover people so just in case it rains or gets hot, you won't feel hot or you won't get wet or nothing and it protects you from getting all messed up. A lot of people like this kind of um, food that um, comes in a bottle and it's yellow and um, you can put it in your hamburger or your hot dog or in anything else you like but remember, it's yellow. <laughs> it's a place that keeps all your money. It's like it's like a store, but you keep all your money there. Like it's your savings. It's something that you would cross. Usually it's over like maybe a stream or a river or a lake or maybe a canyon or something.
If you break your arm, then you go to the hospital and they put it on you. And it's like a band-aid, except it's big, bigger and it's fat. And besides, and it's hard. You pack some food and then you go like to a park or the beach and eat it there. It's usually in a basket and a red and white blanket. Sometimes little girls put their dollies in it and they rock them to sleep and sometimes they feed them in, in, in their little, it, they're like little beds and, and they rock. On 4th of July you light it and it goes pop, pop, pop and they're dangerous and um, you can burn your hand off with them. It can be a road that's divided up like this, or the kind you eat with, which has the kind you eat which has four spokes like that. It's something that horses eat, and um, it's like straws, but it isn't. And um, sometimes when you fall inside, you sneeze. That's something sweet to eat and sometimes you call people away and, and it tastes good and it comes from bees. It's a mem members of a court and they, it's something like a judge and they decide with the judge on who's guilty or not. Something that ladies put on, and um, it kind of it kind of makes um, it's a it's a makeup that they put on, and um, it's kind of like chapstick except it's more colorful. Someone like in the major leagues of baseball, um, it, they work for money. Like Dusty Baker worked for money. It's like, well, in the morning when you're at school, it's like a little break from the, all your work. And you like get to play outside. Unless it's raining, you go inside. It's a movie that kids usually watch, and it has Bert and Ernie, Oscar the Grouch, um, Big Bird. Someone who saves people, he flies, he has an S on the shirt, and he has a red cape. It's Ronald Reagan's fi favorite candy, and um, he, some you can get them out of vending, vending machines, and um, they come in different colors: green, purple, pink, um, orange, red, um, yellow. It's a game with six, nine squares, and there's X's and O's for two people only or one. And the X's try to make a line, and the O's try to make the line. It's something that picks up dirt when it's on the rug, and when you like, there's um, sometimes kind of particles on the rug. It just, it just like has a, a strong suck of air that pulls it up. When and you're in a restaurant and you ask for food and he comes over and he gives you a lot of food if you order it and then he goes in the kitchen, you know, you have to wait for a few minutes and then he, you, he comes back and he gives you um, your dinner. It's something that you um, wear when you go to bed well, and, you can, and also when you get up in the morning 
so you, your feet don't get cold. You mostly use them in the winter because then the, the floor is very cold and, the, and, the, and they usually are, are pretty furry. Well, if you wanted to cook something, you cook it on it and you could heat it. And usually, if you bake cookies on it, it usually goes up to 350. And you can, and you cook it, it usually has two parts, the top part and the part where you can put your food in to cook it. It's what sailors or some other people or any other per person use to rest on and it's made and it looks like a net stretched from one end or point to another.